boys and girls. Uh, it's another time we are together. We thank God for the way he has kept us. And if you remember last week, you talked about the good news where Mary was given good news by the angel that is going to give birth to a baby boy who will be the savior of the world. Now, today we are going to look at the, we are going to look at Christmas. What is Christmas? Do you know what Christmas is? And before we get into that story, shall we pray? So put your hands together, put your legs together, be still, no moving, we are talking to God. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for taking care of us. As children, when we have been at home, you have watched over us. You have provided all that we needed. You have taken care even of our parents. We thank you, dear Lord, because you have been there for us. Now, as we open to listen to your story, this, we, we pray that you speak to us, open our ears, that we may hear what you want us to, what you want us to do, and that, Lord, you will bless us. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. And the children say, Amen. Amen. Now, I don't know what you think about Christmas. Every time you hear the word Christmas, I don't know what comes into your mind. I know for many, it is a time of festival. You eat a lot of food, nice food, some nice clothes. You are taken out to visit your grandparents, your cousins. But what is the origin of Christmas, where did it come from? Now, Christmas, when we celebrate Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Jesus. And this is how it started. Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Joseph were living in a town called Nazareth. And the king at that time made an order and said, all people have to be counted. So each person, everybody has to be counted. And everybody had to go to their Oshago, where they came from. And so Mary and Joseph came from a town called Bethlehem. So they were to travel from, Beth, from Nazareth to Bethlehem so that they can be counted. And so because Mary and Joseph were people who are obedient to God, they were obedient to the king, the king is the president. So they prepared, they didn't refuse. They did not say, oh, Mary is about to have a baby, we can't travel. No, they obeyed the order of the king. And so they got ready. They put their things together, they packed their clothes, they packed some food, because it was going to be a very long journey. Several days they were to walk. There are no vehicles, no trains, no aeroplanes, so they had to walk, except, except that they had a donkey. So after they prepared, they put everything on top of the donkey, and Mary was put on the donkey, and they started walking. And they walked, they walked. When evening came, they would sleep by the roadside, wake up in the morning and continue their journey. And it continued for several days until they reached Bethlehem. Because they were very excited to reach there, but they were very, very tired. So they had to look for somewhere to sleep. And they went to the hotels, checked the hotels, Every hotel, they knock, knock, knock. They are told, no, please. They move to the next. Knock, knock, knock. Is there a place for us to sleep? They are told, no, it is full. And they continued going until they realized there's no place. Every hotel was full because many people had come to be counted. So it's only one man who told them, oh, I have a place where my, my cows sleep you can go and rest there. And so they went, they prepared a nice place, they put grass, and then that's where they slept. And guess what? In the middle of the night, it is so quiet. 
I'm sure you have been out outdoor, outside the house where there's, um, you know, at midnight, there's no noise, it is quiet, the sky is clear, all they could see was stars. And that time, baby Jesus was born. And when he was born, Mary and Joseph were so happy to have this baby because it had been promised by the angel. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of Bethlehem, a Savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Now, they were shepherds in the field looking after their cattle. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and they were so scared. You know, when they saw the angel, they were so scared. But the angel told them, don't fear, I have brought good news to you this day. A baby has been born. And so, when the angel left, other angels came and they sang songs, they were praising God. They were also very, very happy. So when the, the angels now went away, the shepherds decided, hey, we have to go and see this baby. So they got ready and they rushed, they went, they went, they went, they went to Bethlehem. And when they went there, they found the baby in a manger. There was no cot, there was no baby cot. So he was put in a, that place where the food for the cow is put. So they found baby Jesus and they were very, very happy. When they left, they went telling everybody the good news. Jesus has been born. Baby Jesus is born. And they were so, so happy. Just like the way Mary was happy, the angels were happy. Everybody was very, very happy. And that's the good news. The, each of us should go telling everybody. Christmas is not a time to just celebrate, ask for new clothes, new toys. It's a time to love one another. It's a time to show that love God has given us. It is a time to care for one another. It's a time even to sing praises to God, sing Christmas songs. You can even sing Christmas songs to your parents, sing Christmas songs to your grandparents. You can recite the memory verse and that you make us be the kind of boys and, and girls God wants us to be. Now, you have the memory verse. Uh, are you ready? I hope you are ready for the memory verse. It comes from the book of First John chapter, First John chapter 4, verse 10. And they are coming from this book, the Bible. The book is here. So it goes like this. He loved us and gave us his son. This is the same memory verse you were given last week. God loved us so much that he gave us his son. And that is what we should tell others about this love. So thank you, boys and girls. I hope you're going to be good boys, sharing what you have, don't insist on having nice things during Christmas. Celebrate remembering that we are celebrating the birth of Jesus. And now we are going to pray. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you so much for your lesson. Thank you for reminding us about your love. We pray, dear Lord, as children, we'll be able to show this love to one another to our parents, to the people around us. And we will remind them about Christmas because Christmas is the time that you showed love to everyone, that you love us so, so much, that you gave your only son to be our savior. 
Thank you for being our Savior. We thank you, Lord, and we bless you for this. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye, children. Till next time. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Away in the manger, no grief for his bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky low down where he lay the little lord jesus asleep on the hay hello boys and girls i believe by now you know what we are talking about hello pumba oh hello teacher andrew i'm very well pumba how are you doing oh i am very, very well. And do you know what we are celebrating this season? Oh, oh yes, it is Christmas time. I mm. love Christmas very, very, very oh, much. Oh, and your heart is flying away. So oh. let me put it nice on you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Ah, you oh. look wonderful. Oh, thank you very much. And now that it's Christmas, do you have anything special for our boys and girls? Oh, oh yes, I heard, I heard a very nice message for them. Mm. Can, can, I, can I tell them yes, right yes, now? Yes, yes, nah, just go ahead and oh, tell them. Oh, hello boys and girls. Well. It's Pumba. And I'm here to wish you a merry, merry, merry Christmas. Mm. Yes, it's that time again where we celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm, that's I hope, good, Pumba. Yes. Mm. I, I hope they do enjoy and celebrate with your family and friends. I hope so too. And I think my heart fell off again. Yeah, uh, that's okay. It's, we can go on, it, Pumba. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's yeah, okay. it's okay. Yes. Yes. Mm. And, uh, you know, as Pumba has said, you know, it's that time of Christmas. And we want to celebrate with all of you, even though we may be in different places, we just want to celebrate what God has done for us. That this season, as we celebrate Christmas, that that child that is born brings life to us. Do you have anything else to say, Pumba? Oh, yes, we had a song, remember? Yeah, and before we sing that song, yeah. we just want to appreciate you, boys and girls. You know, the whole of this year, almost the whole of the year, we've not been together. We've only been meeting virtually, but we really appreciate all of you for going through the different lessons that we've been sending you. And for parents and guardians, your brothers and sisters, we celebrate you. You have been the teachers to the children when we are away from them. And as we send those lessons to them, you've been doing a great, great job to show them how to do those lessons. We really appreciate with Pumba and all the teachers in our children ministry, we really, really appreciate you. And we wish you a Merry Christmas this day. And so Pumba, yes. we want to sing a song, a special song for all of us to celebrate. Yay. You know the song Feliz Navidad? Yes, I do. Do you know it very well? Song. Okay, let us sing together. One, Feliz Navidad. Huh? Oh, 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 you, you are okay. counting okay. down. Ah, that's the, fine. The okay, I'm waiting for you. Okay. Yes. One, two, go. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero and your felicidad. Again. Mm -hmm. 
Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero and your felicidad. Yeah. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of our hearts. So boys and girls, parents and guardians, we wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. And even as you begin a new year, we wish you a prosperous, blessed New Year's. Bye boys and girls, and Pumba, can you tell them bye? Bye!